We're the fungus finders. Aren't they neat? Lichens or whatever. Lichens are fungi, right? slow growth. I see a few funguses. Do you? Uh, where? I wasn't looking very well. The logs. Oh, I see. Okay. So, there's a little bit of stuff growing over there. There's some knobby stuff over there. Oh, and right stuff. here, it looks like we have the last remnants of puffballs. I'm not going to step on them because I'm sure you'd be allergic to them. Probably. Yeah, we got some fungus over here too. On this side. We do? Along the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little hard to pick up on camera. Yeah, it's there. These ones have been trampled quite a bit, which probably makes them quite successful because these function by being trampled. You know, it's funny, I went like 15 years without seeing another puffball. I only saw one as a kid. And I thought it was really fascinating. I've been looking for them all, ever since. And this autumn has been like the first time of me seeing puffballs since I don't know, 2007, and it's just really cool. Those actually might be growth from the tree itself. Oh, that's not what I was looking at. They might not be. Well, no, no, they are fungus, actually. Oh. Yeah, they sure are. Those are so weird, but they're like a woody fungus. Oh, these are the ones that... They're kind of woody, and um, some people actually make stuff out of them, if I understand right. It appears that these grew while the tree was vertical. Then we have even tiny... Oh! Teeny tiny mushrooms. I'm kind of just hovering over. <sighs> Trying to be as still as possible for the camera. But... If this video series wasn't just fungus finding, but also forest pathfinding. I really love how right here it goes up a bit, but then there it, it's more like a very graceful, it looks almost like there was a path here like a century ago. That's really neat. That's the kind of spot that somebody would probably build a house or something. Could be that there already was a house there. You are right, Thais. There is just tons of chipmunks around. Mm -hmm. They are everywhere. Everywhere. 
That feels like a new variety to me. Oh, even tinier mushrooms. The kind of mushrooms with little spots. That's the scale. Really, really tiny. We have some lichens here, some stone-eating lichens. They're liking this stone. There's more on this side. And more on this side. It feels like this broke off from that. It almost makes me think, you know, anything that eats stone would be pretty slow. And it almost makes me think that this was broken while some of these colonies were already here. Like maybe they take a couple hundred years to grow or can exist for a couple hundred years because it's not as much over here, smaller colonies bigger colonies so they got a fresh start over here over there but over here I wonder I would almost guess that these on this side since this is the open weathered side these may have been actually growing here for half a millennium and then this side when it was drilled and blasted in the 1850s or whatever that they've only had like 180 years to um to really grow. And that's how long it takes. I'm not saying that I know that for a fact. I'm just saying that it's a thought that just occurred to me. That this could be 300, 400, 500 years of it growing. And that could be under 200. I tend to... I tend to look at living things and not think they exist for a long time, but that little colony might be older than the trees around us. At least the small ones. Yeah. And uh, it's just interesting to think about. I just kind of realized that, but well, even tr true to that, there's some lichen colonies that I've seen growing up that look almost exactly the same as they did when I grew up. And so it was like 20, 20 years and they look about the same. So yeah, I guess anything that eats rock probably is pretty slow. Oh, you know what? Look at that. This tree is, I don't know what type of tree it is, but that's that disease. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how oak trees get those galls and have iron gall for iron gall ink. Thank you very much. I, I figured that would give a good sense of, uh, yeah. this is a nice car sized boulder. Oh, these are a type of moss. And then these are different types of fungi. This gray stuff actually, it looks like stone, but I think it is actually a different type of fungi. Or is that... No, the gray is different. And this is with something else, a little bits of the slightly bluish stuff on them. So there's multiple colonies here. That's really fascinating. This log looks like it was probably felled about 20 years ago. It's all basically dirt now. You can see the bits of dirt from critters 
digging into it. Oh yeah, it's basically soil at this point. You know, it's probably so far deteriorated that I don't see any real fungus on it. I just see plants. Plants are growing in it because it's basically soil at this point. The rest of it has a little bit of a lichen or mold on the bottom of it, but that's about it. The rest is being consumed by these roots. Yeah, there is the creek. I think this is a maple tree. Trees as well. And it has some galls on it, whatever those are called. Ooh, Look at that. New fungus. These look a little bit old and shriveled. I wonder what sort of life cycle they go through when the when their food starts to diminish. I imagine they start to diminish as well. Oh, we got a bonus fungi. Teeny tiny little guys. I don't really want to touch this thing, so I'm not gonna lean against it. Plus it would probably fall over anyway. not as interested in these types, but still I thought it'd be good to document. They have a little bit of a competition with some lichens, it looks like. Or is there just something weird going on with them? That's interesting. Cute little plants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't recall. Mm-hmm. Yep, frogs. Look at all those bugs. I know. All the uh this clearing makes me think of Illinois.
This tree's still alive. Even though it's laying on its side, it's growing, uh, it's growing shoots. Watch out for the poison ivy here. Yep. That is poison ivy. That's not. Well, this is a beaver dam.